he made a mistake. So, you know, there'll be a consequence that he has to uh, endure here uh, within our family. We're a family. So if you have no idea what's going on, what's the grave mistake that this guy's player made that the family is going to make him endure? He hit a home run in garbage time when the other team threw up the white flag, said, hey, we're going to put a position player on the mound because we don't care about this game anymore. But can you guys please not try? Because if you do, it'll get our feelings hurt. That's what happened here. We're slowly learning over and over again that the generation of baseball players that consider themselves tough are actually the biggest babies when it comes to getting their feelings hurt. Here's some more on it. If you had been at the ballpark, just about the time the guy started making the pitch, I ran. I took several steps from the dugout onto the field yelling, take, take, take. Because just the way he was set up, I, I looked to me like he was going to swing. And the whole time he's around the bases, I'm out there and I'm, you know, I was upset because that's not a time to swing three and oh. And, as, you know, I, I happen to look over there and I know the twins knew that I was upset. You know, it won't happen again because, you know, Joe will be on the lookout and I will be too. And we'll go running in front of the pitcher. We have to. Now, he's not going to do that again. I, I heard he said something like, I played my game, but no, he doesn't. He plays the game of Major League Baseball. That, Respects the game, respects the opponents, and that was not. And he's got to respect the signs. When he gets to take sign, he takes. So yeah, if he if he if he blatantly disregarded a sign from his coach, I get it. You can't do that. Here's the two zero pitch. But I mean, I call bull spit and my personal opinion on the whole sign. Like Tony La Russa says, maybe he's looking at the sign there. Uh, I'll show this again. So the two zero pitch gets thrown. It's a position player pitching. The Twins have given up on the game. Does he look for the sign there? It's kind of too quick to maybe even get a sign. He barely even looks. He steps in. Now, Tony De La Russa says at this point, he saw that he was digging in, and he ran up the top step because the horror, the horror, don't swing, don't swing at this pitch. You'll get everyone mad at us. So Tony De La Russa says he ran up the step screaming, take, 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 which... I mean, show me the footage. Otherwise, I don't. I really don't believe. I think he's exaggerating it for effect. And then he does swing at the 3-0 pitch, and he hits a home run, and that's the grave mistake that he made. I actually apologized to the Twins. I sent the message over there. It's not acceptable. And... He apologized to the opponent because his player hit a home run after the opponent put a position player on the mound and said, we don't care about this game anymore. We're not even going to try. He went and apologized. Do you expect anything in retaliation of sorts from the twins? All right. You know, I'm I'm hoping that they, uh, they they know, I know, they know that I was really upset with, with, with it. It shouldn't have happened. Uh, I hope it's enough. So I think that's the crux of the whole thing. I think Tony La Russa is giving this ridiculously terrible optics interview, hoping that the twins don't hit one of his players and he's actually in a pseudo way defending his clubhouse by trying to get in front of it and saying, I formally apologize to the twins. It was a grave mistake. I ran up the steps to try and stop it. I'm so sorry. We should have never done that. We should have never done that so that his players don't get hit. I mean, that's what a lot of people are saying. It could be it. It's just a weird way to go about it. And I don't think it worked when you got his own players backing the player and not the coach. Tim Anderson says the game wasn't over. Keep doing you big daddy. And Lance Lynn said, if a position player is on the mound, there are no rules. Let's get the damn game over with. And if you have a problem with whatever happened, then put a pitcher out there. If it's a pitcher whose stats are on the line and pitching in garbage time and like a young kid, sure. Maybe let him get back in the count. Still don't really think so, but it's a fucking position player. The twins gave up on the game. Anyway, the next game, Duffy's on the bump and he's breathing heavy because he got told by his twins coaches that he has to hit your men. I don't think Duffy acted on his own. Phil Hughes was on the Pardon My Take podcast, talked about a time when he got told he had to hit someone. It wasn't even like that. Like it was, um, this guy was being an idiot and our pitching coach came over and said like, hey, next inning you got to hit this guy. And I didn't do it. I missed twice. (laughs) (laughs) I threw one right at him and he like, somehow got out of the way and then the next one i'm like okay i gotta go in a little bit more to get this guy and it went behind him and he was pissed the manager got thrown out he got thrown out and i stayed in the game so you know maybe duffy acts on his own here or maybe he got told by the coaches that he has to hit this guy which i think is what happened he throws behind him 
Everyone kind of like, whoa, ooh, that guy gets a little fright. Right behind him, your men grabs a look at him right here and is like, oh, okay, maybe you guys are mad. Hmm. And Duffy's like, ah, oh, shit, I missed him. I'm going to have to hit him again. The umpires get together to figure out what's going on, and they say, you know what? Let's just get this guy out of here. This is a stupid situation. They throw him out. Me? All right. Tim Anderson says, get your ass out of here. Get out, pussy. Weak ass. Anderson's got his players back. Rocco comes up. The manager of the Twins says, you had the whole crew get together to make that decision? And that's what he's mad about. He says, you should have given one at the plate before the game, saying like, hey, if you're going to throw him out just for throwing behind a guy, we should have got warnings before the game. Otherwise, you have to give warnings now. Also, you're the crew chief. Why did you need everyone else's help to make this decision? And he says, that is fucking bullshit. That is fucking bullshit. That's what he's mad about. He's like, why'd you pull them all together? Like, give warnings out. You make the decisions. Kind of semantics. That is fucking bullshit. That is fucking wrong. That is fucking wrong. Okay? And then he's going to say, like, I don't care what they think. I don't care what anyone thinks. You're the home plate umpire. You should have made the call. Why'd you get your friends together? Which is kind of a weird argument, I think. So he gets tossed. But it's kind of a weird argument because it's like, well, they were trying to, like, you know, put the brain trust. Get out. See you later. You're out. Goodbye. Bam, 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 bam. Stay mad. Rocco's out. He probably is a little mad. Tony LaRusso's like, oh, wow. Okay, cool. Baseball. I'm doing the damn thing. I knew that would happen. I called it. Here's what he said after the game about this. It's it's bizarre. Umpire's opinion. Going obvious to me. I threw a sinker and, you know, it didn't look good. <clears throat> so... He said that it wasn't obvious to him that they threw at his player on purpose, even though his whole before the game preamble was to stop them from throwing at his hitters. This dude's just gatekeeping for this, his version of the sport of baseball and the umpires and the other team. I don't even, I don't get. I oh, wasn't that suspicious. That's suspicious somebody throws in somebody's head. And they're not suspicious. So, I don't, I don't I don't have a problem with how the Twins handled that. He has no problem with how the Twins handled it. He only has a problem with how his team handled it. Not the opposing team. I don't know, man. Just bizarre all around. And stupid. And just dumb. And this is the the weirdest part of the whole uh, interview. It didn't really have anything to do with the main storyline. But I wanted to throw it in here at the end. Because it's just funny. He was asked, are your players allowed to swing at 3-0 pitches and swing big in blowouts if they have a regular pitcher on the mound, not a position player. And this, he said this. You know, if, if you could do it differently, I'd send and, – and, and, and we didn't have to play position. I'd send three pitchers up there. You know, just to stand there and tap the ball someplace. He would send three pitchers out there and just t- tell them – to tap the ball because he doesn't want to tell his own guys. He doesn't want to tell his hitters to go up there and get out on purpose. So he'd, if the other team sends a position player in a blowout, he'd just send up pitchers to hit because too many feelings are on the line. What are we doing? If you want the other team to stop trying, quit, I guess. Fuck, man. I'm absolutely certain that the guy's not going to swing 3-0 and in another situation. But I'm not going to tell you. you know, I didn't try to spank him. He's too big and strong. And I didn't try to spank him. He's too big and strong. And I didn't try to spank him. He's too big and strong. And 